60 some degrees, kind of cloudy, kind of sunny. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Erin. I vlog while I run. I've run. I'm currently training for my first full marathon, and today we have a four mile run, but first, running outfit of the day. On this run, I want to talk about the my disappointment in myself and falling off the bandwagon of things in general. So before all this pandemic started, like before we went to Puerto Rico is the last sense of normalcy I remember. And that was in February. I was doing great with my diet, very limited drinking alcohol wise, losing weight and a healthy pace. Just overall doing really well with it. But since this whole pandemic started, we have a little bit more food in the house. At one time, we have some more treats, mainly to keep the kids happy when I'm on conference calls. And there is more alcohol because I'm stressed. All those things make for very easy weight gain. And this is the first time all year that I put on these running pants and they are tighter than they should be. As soon as I put these pants on, I felt instantly disappointed in myself. Like how could I have not lost weight? I had all winter to work on it. Why did I let it go? Why did I slack off on it? Just because I'm stressed. Everyone's stressed. But I quickly pulled myself out of that funk. Honestly in 30 seconds because what was I doing all winter? And to this day, still sticking to these runs. And I have progressed. I've gotten further distance. I don't feel as pukey when I get to the tops of hills. So I'm not gonna be so hard on myself. I will, however, get back on it because I finished my last bottle of wine last night. I could go to the store to get more, but I'm not going to just gonna pretend it doesn't exist. And I know that'll help slow weight gain or help me lose weight. Just stick with eating healthy. I cut back, I haven't been eating any treats. See if it gives me more energy. So here we are. Like I said the other day, that newfound motivation, this is why I'm using it. You get back on track when you've fallen off. What do you do? What do you do after this? Two things. You stop feeling guilty and you commit to a rebound plan as soon as possible. Guilt just isn't productive and a rebound plan can literally be anything. It could be you throwing your hair up into a ponytail, going out, getting some fresh air and reconnecting to your goals. Indulgence is part of life. You want to try to avoid overly restrictive diets because the truth is they can probably lead you down a road that was actually less healthy than the one you were on before you started. So I live by the 90-10 rule. 90% of my diet is clean and healthy, 10% is indulgence and guilt-free. I am sweating. It's like the first good sweat of the year, I think. I will say that before I left, I, you know that feeling that you feel like you just need to take a nap or you're, just, or you're gonna die? Like you could just fall asleep sitting up. I get like that sometimes halfway through the day. I don't know when the last time I ever got a nap was, but I still have that feeling like I need one. And man, it's one of those days where I physically had to like move through molasses to get my shoes on and get my cameras and get out the door. Oh, I feel the sweat dripping. And I thought, oh, I'll change up my route. I was just gonna do tree tunnel a little further than that and back. I thought, no, a loop might be better. Change it up. <clears throat> I am still really low energy. It might just be because I'm not even halfway through, so mentally I'm feeling really tired. I'm curious to see if at the end of the run, if I feel more energized. Almost at the top of Puke Hill. Me not go doing well. Feeling quite pukey. Not too bad. It's a pick your own tree tunnel vibes kind of day. Pick as many as you want. Is anyone else in my boat feeling a little disappointed in your weight gain or just unhealthy choices? I was doing so well before all this that 
I didn't even have alcohol in the house. I just didn't drink it. So I think that's first order of business is stop buying it again. Because you know what, I'm gonna be stressed either way. I'll do like 20 squats and push-ups instead to calm myself in the evening. I think the other part of drinking is if it's part of your evening routine, you start to look forward to it in the day. If you're having a rough time, you can like look forward to that rela relaxing glass of wine. So I have to find something else in replace of it, not something else that's unhealthy like chocolate. Something, a healthy thing to look forward to at the end of the day. So if you have any suggestions for that, let me know. Here's those pretty flowers. You know a big motivator for me to lose weight is so I don't have to look at my chins when I edit. I don't care if you have five chins. I don't care if everyone has five chins. I care if I have two chins because I don't like to look at it while I run. That's my motivation lately. You really have to look at yourself a lot when you edit these videos. Another four miles in the books. Man, that was not, that was not an easy one. We did it. I gotta hydrate like majorly. I hope you guys are doing well, stay, staying safe. Let me know how you are in the comments. Let me know if you have any healthy winding down your day suggestions for me. Be sure to like this video because it really supports my ego and my channel. Your comments are my accountability and be sure to subscribe to Struggle Along on this marathon training and life because let's be honest, life is one big struggle so let's do it together. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.